Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at the Cloud Native Networking Services. Now, these networking services aren't super uh, super important for the exam, but I like to go through them. Generally, I would make an architectural diagram for this, but it's just a bit too complicated, so I thought we'll just go through and list them. So first is Azure DNS, and we do describe the service uh, later in uh, the course here, but this provides an ultra-fast DNS responses and ultra-high domain availability. So if you have a domain name and you just want it to be managed by um, uh, Azure, you can associate it with Azure DNS. Then you have Azure Virtual Network. Uh, we talked about this prior, but we'll talk about it again. Um, short for VNet, a logical isolated section of your Azure network for customers to launch Azure resources within. Then you have Azure Load Balancer, and as the name implies, it is a load balancer, but this one is at level four transport. Um, so it doesn't really understand requests like what a web application would send. It's more lower level, um, and so that's what that is. Then you have Azure Application Gateway, and this is an HTTP load balancer, so it does understand um, it, like requests coming from a web server. And what you can do with it is you can actually route um, based on HTTP requests to specific services, but it also you can apply a web application firewall because it is an application load balancer. That's why you can apply that web application firewall, which is a separate service. Then you have network security groups. So uh, this is a way of protecting your subnets. So it's a virtual firewall around your subnets where you can say, allow these, um, allow these ports to be open um, and, uh, and from who and, and, and such. So there you go, that's the cloud native networking services. And the reason why they're cloud native networking is because you wouldn't use these with enterprise or, on, uh, or, uh, or in hybrid models, it's just what you normally use. And most startups would be using all these cloud, uh, these networking services.